Okay, so with Real Housewives of Atlanta, this episode to me still kind of had of a, a little bit of a slow start. It was still talking a lot about the Breonna Taylor protesting thing, and that's and look, that's that's definitely a subject that we need to bring attention to, and we need to keep talking about it so these situations don't happen anymore. But it wasn't like super drama filled. But let's just talk about it. So first things first, episode starts off with Drew making these pale pancakes for these kids, and nobody else see that. Am I the only one that saw Drew make these pale pancakes for these kids? Now, now these are colored children, all right? And one thing about colored children, when you make food for colored children, it got to be seasoned and it got to be dark. Who eats pale pancakes? Them pancakes didn't even look like they was done. I'm sorry, Drew. I'm, I'm sorry to get on your pancake making skills, but, you know, maybe you got to spend a little bit more time in the kitchen and a little less time on, 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 that, on that Facebook uh, church thing you got going on over there. Stay in the kitchen and fin, 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 cook, cook them kids' food all the way through. Moving right along from that, Drew's mother disrespecting her husband. Drew, this is part of the reason why you have relationship issues. Number one, your mother don't need to be living in a house with you. I know we got COVID, but you need to have a house at least with an in-law suite, at least with a basement until like, you do not come up here unless you call first, or you need to actually spend the money to put your mama in, in a studio apartment around the corner from you. That way you don't have to deal with her, believe me. That kind of mama is not a mama you can have around your husband because they're going to class because you actually got to, you got a husband that actually will speak his mind and your mother don't like that because she used to dominating you and dominating everything hell she's the head of a church so she's used to being in charge but that's not conducive to a marriage drew let me tell you something else drew your mother for her to be a woman of the word she should know that it is not her place to interfere in your marriage at all because when you married your husband you left her behind behind all right you left her behind not saying you don't love her no more not saying she ain't your family but your husband and your kids is your family your mama come after that so i just feel like the natural order of things your mother oversteps her bounds she should not be talking to your husband like that and as a matter of fact you need to stop putting your mama in all your husband's business maybe she wouldn't have all that mouth and all that opinion to say we got to be careful when we in relationships talking to other people about what we go through because we can forgive something but they ain't gonna forgive and they damn sure ain't gonna forget it and then they just gonna make things worse so outside of abuse you really need to keep your relationship problems to yourself or if it's that bad just damn leave the man moving right along latoya and kenya their relationship concerns me Their relation, their friendship, brewing friendship concerns me. And here's why. The people that I've got along with the best and they're still best friends with to this day, or the people that I actually could not stand at first, or people that I had major blowouts with, with the beginning. Like, typically, if I cannot stand you when I first meet you, I end up being really cool with you later. But those friendships that are so, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> like right away, all of that right off the bat is fake and phony, and those end up blowing up in your face later. So I hope it work out for them, but I'm just watching. As far as Kenya uh, uh, putting pics on dating sites, she needs to do something she ain't really had no husband since she had a child i don't know if she really understands that but you ain't had no husband since you had a child so you might as well date because if you think that ain't nobody sleeping in mark's bed him in his nose ring then you clearly got it sadly mistaken and there is much more to mark daily than meets the eye i'm trying to figure out why ain't nobody exposed him yet why we don't know nothing about his family we ain't seen no picture of his other kids nothing about his exes we ain't seen nothing uh, uh, of his parents nothing she's never met his parents she's never met his other kids this don't even seem like a real relationship or marriage to me this literally seems like a, a a lonely woman and her gay bestie went to the clinic and made a baby and just d did a marriage to just save face to get her back on Ross Wise of Atlanta that is what the situation is giving me maybe it's not that but that's what it gives me and ain't nothing wrong with it if that's a situation but it is what it is that man don't love you and that man just want to well that man that, that man loves using you as a doormat pretty much and so where's the real Kenya because I, I don't like this one you know I, I thought I didn't like your mouth before Kenya but I don't like you getting ran over and all that and not being able to speak speak up speak up kenya we the, drag him kenya do something kenya moving right along from there we got to talk about cynthia and this pandemic of a wedding to me cynthia is um she's doing too much about this wedding 10 10 20 it shouldn't matter if you get married in the, in uh, at the Taj Mahal or if you get married in your backyard as far as i'm concerned if i was to get married if i was we can do it right in the backyard Popeye's chicken can 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 uh, uh, cater. All right, we can go down to the liquor store, get the liquor, 
get a broom from Family Dollar to jump over, and you good. I really don't understand why she is so dead set on having this huge wedding. Move right along from that. Uh, Tanya is is <laughs> Tanya is back this season, but as we know, after the whole stripper situation goes down with Portia, Tanya is gonna go back uh, to wherever the hell she came from and not speak to Portia anymore. I wasn't really feeling Tanya in the past seasons, but I'm really feeling her energy now for some reason. So I don't know what's different about her, but I'm feeling it and I like it. And then we get introduced to Fallon and a husband that is clearly like 40 years older than her. First off, your husband Simon Fallon is the one that got my video shut down when I did that exclusive on y'all some months back. That's okay. I messed up by showing this LinkedIn and that's where they got me for a privacy concern, but it's cool. It just goes to show me that what I was talking about was right. So I ain't mad, Fallon, but I'm, I'm, what, what is Fallon? I'm trying to fit. Is she black? Yeah, I know I be looking at these people. You know, I ain't never seen black folk look like this before. So I, you know, sometimes I see these people on TV. I be like, is she black? She giving me, you know, Chili and that, that girl, Anasa. I thought that thing that was Anasa from back in the day. She, she, but she giving me Chili. What, what the hell is she? Or was that a good lace front? It didn't look like a lace front. I just want to know. It's giving me Chili. But I ain't mad at it. But anyway, we introduced the Fallon. She seems like, I mean, she seems like a fun personality. You know, the, the girls are playing in the pool. They get to twerking in the hot tub and her husband is enjoying a few. I don't have too much of an opinion on her yet, except for the fact that she's absolutely stunning. Moving right along, Drew, why are you about to buy a house with an almost ex-husband? I mean, you're probably going to keep the house even if y'all get a divorce, but I just don't understand why you're trying to add another stress. So, like, there are some things in a relationship that, like, there are certain milestones that you guys do together that are just going to be super stressful. Getting married, buying a house, having children. You're literally trying to save your marriage. She's probably cheating on you, and you're trying to buy a house and deal with your mama at, at the same damn time. I don't know why you're doing that. This man is not including you in any of the process. Why? Because he doesn't value as a, value you as a partner. Why? Because he really doesn't plan on you being in his life that much longer. And to keep it real, I don't think he wants the house that much because ain't nobody that wants the house that much going to be slacking that much on getting stuff done and not even involving you in a process this is your home too why don't you know about what's going on why don't you know you better know don't be out here looking like a Teresa. i just i'm the, the Teresa you dj i'm just trying to let you know moving right along from that cynthia's venue and and her being a brat over not being able to possibly have a 200 300 person wedding i don't understand why cynthia is acting like this and first of all cynthia you need to be grateful now i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna clean it up because i know y'all saying what you mean be grateful i'm gonna tell you cynthia is a woman that was engaged three times prior to peter ran from all those engagements then got married to peter that didn't work out but okay cool then now you finna get married again so you've been a runaway bride divorce say and now you're about to get married again to a man that truly loves you then you should you shouldn't care about a wedding you shouldn't care about a dress you shouldn't care about the venue you shouldn't care about nothing you should care about nothing except for making your relationship work especially when you're marrying a serial cheater and for cynthia and mike to be in a car and he says if we can't get married if we can't get married there on 10 10 20 or we get married and you say i don't know like to me i just I would be thinking twice because Cynthia, you really have to ask yourself, do you want the wedding or do you want the marriage? What do you want? But for some reason, I still feel like Cynthia doesn't truly know what she wants or she's scared to do this, uh, to do the marriage thing again. And this is like her subconscious self-sabotaging. Y'all let me know what y'all think. That was Real Eyes of Atlanta. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it so far. It's still kind of a slow start, but I'm definitely going to stick with it, especially when we get to Stripper Gate. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. Make sure you check out my back up channel storm a cut if you want to do business on my channel um, um, um send in advice for me to do an advice video for you or whatever hit me up storm business at gmail.com and i will catch you guys later Yamaya's Gift is a brand that specializes in medicinal herbs and all natural supplements to help alleviate a lot of conditions that Americans suffer from, okay? Now, Yamaya's Gift got products to help you with that hypertension, to help speed up that weight loss, get rid of them fibroids, as well as help alleviate the symptoms of that diabetes. Oh yeah, that sugar, that sugar is real bad. So now with Yamaya's Gift, you get a lot of gifts, but the best gift that anyone could ever give you is the ability to heal thyself 
yourself from the inside out with products like elderberry syrup to help keep that immunity in check because we all fighting miss rona we all trying to windmill her ass up out of our lives but one of my personal favorites as a matter of fact two of my personal favorite products with your mind's gift is the all natural honey and the tea that's for men and the reason why i like those products is because if you are somebody with a low sex drive if you need a boost in the bedroom and if you are ready to get brian pompered lexington steeled all night long then just put some of that in your man's cup and you will be on your way to a happier healthy marriage all right now place your orders today whether you need your immunity taken care of you're trying to lose some weight you're trying to get rid of that sugar the diabetes or you're just trying to bust a nut okay order her shit at www.yamayasgift.com